Hello, this is BBC News. I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. Hello and welcome. Uh, welcome back. Just want to bring you some breaking news. We're going to start with the latest developments, of course. Uh, in the aftermath of those earthquakes in Turkey and Syria. They had the order, they had the OK, they were waiting for it to move off the coast. They then didn't waste much time at all, they didn't hang around, uh, they shot it down. There's that old cliché in politics that uh, all political careers end in failure. And traditionally one of the ways to try and salvage that a little bit is by announcing uh, your own resignation. The author Salman Rushdie, it's being uh, reported that he was attacked. Right, uh, we can speak now to Carl Levin, an eyewitness to the attack. Carl, uh, can you hear me there and just describe what you saw? Namia, I'm going to interrupt you there. So sorry, I'm going to interrupt you straight away because we, the judge has come uh, back in. A second update from Ukraine as well. You'll remember Kherson. It was the first major urban area captured by Russia and then was recaptured by Ukrainian forces. Since then, Russian forces have been shelling Kherson and the Ukrainians in there. Stay with us for all the very latest. This is BBC News. Finally, some rare good news uh, from here in Washington. Economic sanctions are in place against North Korea. Very tough and testing times ahead. Self-promotion never stops. Well, it means a lot, and it's the best in the world. There's nothing like it anywhere in the world, so it's great for Scotland. In Times Square, more than a million people joined the countdown to the new year. What was it like? It was amazing, it was really fun. So this is Ocean Drive in Miami. It became the heart of this case today. The Prime Minister had asked the country to remain in the EU, but the British people chose instead to leave, and David Cameron said he therefore had to do the they same. They don't have a leader, they also don't have a deputy leader at the moment. As you can imagine, James, there aren't too many people who would take too kindly to being described as economically illiterate. There are lots of marginal seats the Conservatives won in the last general election. Well, do you not accept you cannot, the Conservative you victory? Claim. You've just been given the job so that Jeremy Corbyn doesn't have to have a fight over Trident. I... I don't know why Jeremy gave him this job. This car has been set on fire and has just rolled into the building here and the police have just arrived to try and lock down the area. Queen Elizabeth II is lying in state tonight beneath the ancient timbers of Westminster Hall. The BBC has found evidence that Russian forces have been forced to pull back from positions they held at the start of their invasion five weeks ago. 49%, 49%, so, so close. Welcome to Outside Source. Straight away, I want to take you to these images from around uh, the UK where a, a round of applause is taking place. And this, of course, has happened now in countries uh, right across Europe. Let's take a listen now to some of the clap. Work needs to today. be done. Why don't you apologise if that hasn't been done before now? Tenacity. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll come to that. Do, do you support the strike? People there on that border don't have a great deal. Is, for example, hosing them with water cannon really the best thing to be doing? Right do you now? support the strike? Through industrial to make sure that they are, they are able I'll, to get. I'll, I'll have one. More, I'll have just one, one more go. Then, do you support the strike? Uh, hi, Sean. I'm sure it's nothing personal that they're keeping you at a distance, but what are they all talking about today? <laughs> Finish asking the question. We're both going to go, and it'll be a race to okay. see who can do it first. Okay. All right. Three, two, one, go. So for me, the most satisfying part, trying to get even more faster and faster times. <laughs> I needed just a few more seconds. Yeah, it's called sudden hearing loss. I didn't know anything about it. I'd had normally normal hearing my whole life, and then... A couple of months ago, I've got a bit of a cold, couldn't hear in my left ear. Yep, your hearing is gone, it's gone forever and the, uh, in your left ear. really wanted to just show everyone that yeah, I'm wearing a hearing aid on air, it's, it's hard but it's working and it's making a difference. Have you got <laughs> Christmas presents as well or not? We had to oh, not. So bad, no. I forgot him anything. <laughs> no. You've made us look like awful parents already. <laughs> We've We're only it. 13 <laughs> days in. Oh, well, I still can't believe he's here. I still can't believe it's actually real. Oh, Absolutely amazing. It's... Hello, welcome to a day in the life of a BBC newsreader. I'm Lewis. This is the presenter kit, a microphone and a talkback pack. From here, the director will usually tell me things like, what a great job I'm doing. My editor said, Lewis, we need our most talented, most popular Welsh newsreader in Downing Street today, so I've sent Hugh Edwards. Assesses the scale now of the challenge. For now, I'm Lewis Vaughan Jones. Bye bye. And I'm still Lewis Vaughan Jones. Bye bye.